Good afternoon, cousin O, and welcome to the Patriot Platform. I'm Jimmy. And I'm Antonio. Today we'll look, be looking around Cousino, Warren, and the Metro Detroit area. Stay with us, and we'll be right back. Over to Tristan with Xbox versus PlayStation. Hi, I'm Tristan. I'm going to be asking the students here at Cousin whether they like Xbox or PlayStation better. Today we go with PS4. Oh. Xbox. Xbox. Uh, you know, I'm an Xbox guy. Play me in 2K, you know. Xbox. PlayStation. Xbox. PlayStation. Xbox. PlayStation. Look, PlayStation, look, PlayStation is the best thing out here. Yeah, Only oh, reason that being said is because you don't have to pay for lots. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. been an argument for years. So, All right, back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Tristan, for the update. Although I prefer PlayStation, Mason up next with the teacher of the question of the week. Hi, I'm Mason, and I asked teachers from both Mott and Cousineau, if they could teach any subject in the one that they're teaching currently, what would they teach? If I wasn't teaching just world history, I'd love to teach government. I also love to teach current issues. And uh, I really, really wish there was a humanities class that I could teach. If I wasn't teaching automotive technology, I would probably be teaching World Wide Web or some kind of industrial uh, computer technology class due to the fact that the world is always evolving and um, all kids are basically dealing since they were born with technology and with increasing changes in technology, it would be great to have the kids get a leg up on a future. Hello, I'm Mr. Gray at Warren High School. Um, I currently teach biology and astronomy. If I could no longer teach biology and astronomy, I would want to teach physical education uh, because it would let me to get to know students in a different light um, outside of the academic classroom um, in another fashion. And also because I'd be allowed to wear cargo shorts every day. Um, I just want to say hi to Mr. Benner. I miss you. Now back to you in the studio. President Trump responded to the Lower Manhattan terror attack Tuesday calling the suspect very sick and deranged on Twitter. In New York City, looks like another attack by a very sick and deranged person. Law enforcement following this closely, he said around 2.30 p.m. Tuesday, not in the USA. He ended his statement, First Lady Melania Trump claimed in on Twitter too, sending her thoughts and prayers to victims. My heart breaks for New York, for New York City. Thoughts and prayers as we monitor the situation, she wrote. The suspect in the attack, 29 years old, Say fellow CPO allegedly named a vehicle unsuspicious cyclist on a bike path near Houston Saint, killing at least eight and injuring more than a dozen people. Witnesses told people that the gun wielding motorist yelled Alu Akbar, Arabic for God is great. After running down the victims, Sepo, who was arrested following the attack, is described as Middle Eastern. For all you Netflix fans out there, Netflix is pulling the plug on House of Cards and real life scandal involving its star Kevin Spacey, Star Trek Discovery actor Anthony Rapp said Spacey had sexually assaulted him at a party in 1986 when he was just 14 years old. Spacey responded to the allegations on Sunday saying he does not remember the alleged encounter and then came out as being gay. Yesterday, Netflix said production has begun on what will be the final season of House of Cards, which is set to be released in 2018. Damn, bro, House of Cards? Can't believe it's crazy. I know. I actually uh, got into the first episode, and that was it. Yeah, so, it's crazy. I don't really know much. 
Up next is Joe on uh, hey, trick or Joey, so I'm here looking forward. Do kids really still trick or treat? Yeah, I'm going trick or treating, dressing up as SpongeBob, you know, flipping them patties, you know. I do what I do, you know. I do it on my spare time, you know. Not going trick or treating. Yeah, I'm going trick or treating today. I'm trying to go uh, scare some little kids, so I'm going at the clown. I'm hoping to scare a lot of kids today. Yeah, I'm going trick or treating today. I'm gonna mess with some kids, steal their candy, and I'm gonna be something scary. I'm gonna be Marlando for Halloween. No. Yeah, I'm dressing as a monkey for her trick or treating, you know, Halloween. Yeah. Bruh. No, I'm not going trick or treating. Heck yeah, I'm going trick or treating. I'm dressing up as a princess. <laughs> yeah, I'm going trick or treating. I'm dressing up as Marlanda. <laughs> Is that good? <laughs> oh, she, what does he do? <laughs> I would go trick or treating, but my mom will say I can't use the Gucci pillowcase. I'm going trick or treating, but I'm being super. Uh, no, I'm not trick or treating. Uh, I'm passing out candy to all the fans. The burrito is not gone. It was a good burrito. And that's all. Now back to the studio. So we are celebrating Dia de los Muertos. This is a holiday celebrated originally in Mexico. And it's a celebration to honor the memory of loved ones who have passed away. Um, so my Spanish twos had the job of creating tombstones for deceased Hispanics. Spanish three created ofrendas. Um, those are tables, altars, to um, honor deceased Hispanics as well. And Spanish four, created ofrendas to honor any famous deceased person of their choice. Um, and they worked for about two weeks on them and they've been on display here for about four days now. We're going on day five tomorrow. And they did an amazing job. It's their second year doing the projects and they loved it, I love it. They're getting a lot of good attention today so I'm really excited for them. And um, bravo to my students, they did a great job. And now for Veronica with the National Day. I'm Veronica Weisbach, and today is National Sandwich Day, so I asked students and staff what their favorite sandwich was. My sandwich is a BLT with no tomato. <laughs> My favorite sandwich is good old-fashioned grilled cheese. Mm-hmm, you dip that in some tomato soup. Delish. My favorite sandwich is the Italian from Potbelly. Uh, I like the meatball subs from Subway, peanut butter jelly, uh, bologna, I could do bologna sandwiches. Uh, that's it. Spicy Italian. Can't go wrong with it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Liana, it's all you. Um, I like salami. <laughs> salami? Turkey sub sandwich with ventimiglias. And why do you like it so much? It has hot peppers and it's very delicious. Happy National Sandwich Day. Now back to you in the studio. At Ford, engineers are testing the seats in the Fiesta courtesy of the robot. It's called the robot, and Ford engineers say it's based on the dimension of an average large man. The robot, or robot, simulates how drivers and passengers get in and get out of a car seat. By planting its robo behind on Fiesta, leather over and over, engineers are able to build pressure maps that tell the tale of war and tear over time. Ford says over a decade, a human user will hop in and out of the car seat 25,000 times. Robot is able to simulate it in three short weeks. For people that live in Detroit, Detroit City Council President Brenda James says she approved the Spirit of Detroit Award for hip hop artist Cardi B, which is one of my favorite artists, at the request of a radio station. The award caught other council's members off guard and confused them to, to be uh, confused about New York born artists that was receiving Detroit Honor. A Detroit uh, Honor is meant for Detroiters. I, I guess. 
and posted on social media that wasn't part of the decision and Jones' office tells Detroit Free Press, the spirit of Detroit award can be requested by any member of the city council for a person, event, or organization for its service to the city. Jones says Cardi B was honored for her outstanding achievement as the current top female rapper on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. Wow, Cardi B, bro? She's a, I love her music, bro. Like, I swear, like, she has the best music. I know, ever. and I'm jealous of Offset. I promise you. Can and you now for it? the returning student challenge, hosted by Adam. We gotta flip a water bottle! It's on. You should ever eat it. You can me. Yeah. Bet, that's good enough. That was Adam with the student challenge. And now to have M with the best Snapchat filter. Hi, I'm Emily Wendell, and I asked students what their favorite Snapchat filter was. My favorite filter is the Halloween dog. I don't know, because it makes me look good. The heart ones, like the pink hearts, like above your head. I don't know why I like it. I just like the, the filter on me. The filter is the big mouth filter where it shows your teeth more. I like it because it shows off my teeth. Your Snapchat filter is the heart one, and then it's because it's really pretty. Snapchat filter would have to be, uh, it's the one where it makes like your mouth really wide, if you know which one I'm talking about. I don't know why, I just really like that one, it's funny, and it changes your voice, and it's really funny. Back to you in studio. So yeah. about those uh, Snapchat filters, what's your favorite one? My favorite one is the dog, you already know why, yeah. Why is that, Jimmy? I don't know, I just, I don't know, I like dogs. You like dogs, that why? I have a dog. Oh. Now to the weather with Christian. Uh, I'm here with the weather. So over here in the Midwest, it's colder, but it's warming up. And over here in the West, we got colder weather, but it's warming up. Four-day forecast. So today, we have 52, low of 38, partly cloudy. Saturday, we have 53 and a low of 48, rain. A couple thunderstorms on Sunday, and then Monday, cloudy. That's all for this episode of Patriot Platform. I'm Jimmy. And I'm Antonio. I'm in Christian. <laughs> <laughs> Have a great weekend, Patriots. No, no, we gotta do that.